automatic backup. It's also completely portable. The USB is right in the back. It comes with an auto, uh, a cradle that's also sold separately if you choose. It just sits right on top. So today I'm going to show you how you can back up simply with the screen. So you get your device, you plug it into the side. Give it a few seconds. Then it starts loading the Click Free software. The software, there's nothing to install. It's all built into the Click Free device. So it'll prompt you to a countdown. If you wait, the backup will launch automatically. But we'll just start right away today. And I'll hit start. It's now searching your whole computer for all of your files. Once the backup is complete, you will get a check mark saying the backup is complete and your files are indeed safe. Now, if you had a busy day and you want to just stop there, you can hit close and know that it's back with your data. But if you want to examine further and see what in fact is backed up, you can actually go and it's clearly organized all of your digital files here, your digital data. You can go in and say, okay, did it actually save my photos? I want to see. You open up your photos and there you go. All your photo files that have been saved are all there. Let's say you took a really great trip last summer and you want to send that picture and have your friends see it online, you can just click on it and you can actually share that immediately in a social media tool, whether it be Flickr, Facebook, or MySpace, you have that option. If you want to email it, you can also do that or you can even print it. Those are fun little features we have. Now let's just say you only want to back up your photos and your music and nothing else. You just click under the options tab right here. And it allows you, by changing the backup settings right here, to actually customize what, in fact, you want saved and backed up onto your Click Free device. So all that's required is just deselecting de it if you don't want your artwork and drawings backed up, or if you don't want your presentations, just remove the check mark, and it won't back that up. If you want to you know, extract email attachments, you can click on that and it will do that function. And if you have any other files that it might not recognize, you just click on that, custom extensions, and it will pick up those additional files. Once you're done that, there's also device usage button right here, and this actually shows you uh, how much space you have left. So in this case, all this green is the amount of space we still have left to store data. And if you wanted to actually move this to another computer, all that you would have to do is just restore transfer, and all of this, the data that's in this device will now be transferred to your new computer. It is fully compatible with both Mac and PCs, and that is as easy as making toast. That's click-free.